As I look back on our relationship over the years, many events and emotions flood my mind. From my best friend and crush in sixth grade to my high school sweetheart, we have already been through so many different things together. I am forever thankful for the woman you are and will become, and I understand what a precious blessing you are from the Lord. Cameron McRae Patterson. Today I get to marry the man of my dreams. I would have never thought I would be marrying the kid who would crack jokes with me in sixth grade. But here we are and I wouldn't have it any other way. God has truly blessed me with a man like you. You know I am so indecisive, but one thing I have always been sure of is you. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. God has a perfect plan for our lives, and to me, nothing displays this more than our relationship. You are caring and kind. You are always thinking of how you can help others. I am the best version of myself when I am with you. You have helped me grow in many areas, but most importantly, in my walk with the Lord. He has intentionally and purposefully brought us together to love each other and to display the love of Jesus to the world. You always know how to put a smile on my face and you pick me up when I'm feeling down. I know that God placed you in my life when he knew I needed you most. And as we join together today, let us remember to keep Christ at the center of our relationship as we strive to honor and glorify him in all we do. You are everything I ever dreamed of in a man and more. You have seen me at my best and worst and stuck by my side through it all. I pray I will lead and love you like Jesus as I continually pursue you for the rest of my life and I hope to be even half the man that you deserve. I honestly don't know where I would be without you and I'm so excited to start this new journey with you. I promise to always be your biggest supporter and best friend and we'll be cracking jokes till death do us part. Love, Elizabeth. You have and always will be the perfect girl and I can't wait for what's yet to come. I love you, Elizabeth Marlena Brewer. Always and forever, Cameron. Today is an incredible day. Today, we get to witness something through you that is a precious picture of the gospel of Jesus. The Bible teaches us that marriage is an honored event. It is a blessing. If there's one thing I hope you remember from your wedding day, is that your marriage is a picture of the gospel. It is a picture of Christ's love for the church. The two of you are becoming one flesh. The two of you are becoming a union. And you are pursuing in one another and for one another this incredible blessing of companionship. And both of you, as you look into each other's eyes today and as you look ahead to years, we pray, of faithful, God-honoring marriage, you will be that for the other one, their companion, their spouse, their husband, their wife. That is an incredible gift. You are committing to one another a love that comes with everything that you have. It's the pursuit of faithfulness. It's not a contract. It's not something that has an escape clause. It's not something that has a expectation that you put on the other one that if they don't meet, you're out. It's a covenant. When one of you mourns, may the other one mourn with you. When one of you laughs, may the other one laugh with you. May you go through life together in companionship, in the constant pursuit of faithfulness that would bring honor to the description of Christ and His church. I, Cameron, take you, Elizabeth. I, Cameron, take you, Elizabeth. To be my wife. To be my wife. My partner. My partner. And my one true love. And my one true love. I will trust you. I will trust you. I will lead you. I will lead you. And I will honor you. And I will honor you. I will laugh with you in the best of times. I will laugh with you in the best of times. And mourn with you in the worst. And mourn with you in the worst. 
I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. For better or worse. For better or worse. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I am yours. I am yours. I, Elizabeth, take you, Cameron. I, Elizabeth, take you, Cameron. To be my husband. To be my husband. My partner. My partner. My one true love. My one true love. I will trust you. I will trust you. I will follow you. I will follow you. I will honor you. I will honor you. I will laugh with you in the best of times. I will laugh with you in the best of times. And mourn with you in the worst. And mourn with you in the worst. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. For better or worse. For better or worse. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I am yours. I am yours. together for what feels like forever. They started dating their sophomore year of high school. If you know Bush, you know she just has the weirdest, funniest senses of humor. You're seriously the person who can make me laugh the hardest at any time. This is so much that I told Bush that I didn't know if I was going to laugh or cry when she started walking down the aisle, but it was cry. Definitely been my go to girl when I need advice. A good laugh or cry, a pointless rant or close, and I'm really bummed that you moving out means I'm down to one wardrobe. I'm Abigail, Liz's oldest sister. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, there's a five year difference between the two of us, which, if you can imagine, that created a lot of sibling rivalry growing up. Um, and me being the bossy, older, controlling sibling that I am that made for some really fun memories. <laughs> you're incredibly patient and you're always willing to put others needs above your own. Um, my prayer for you guys is that your marriage is a light to those around you. I don't want to cry. <laughs> I want to... <laughs> so my name is Lane. Um, I'm Cameron's best man, his older brother. I love you more than anything in this world, Cameron. And growing up with you, I could have never asked for a better little brother. Um, got me. You do so much more than anybody in this world ever could for him already. And that's just gonna get even better as you guys grow. And I can't wait to see where God's gonna take you because he's got incredible plans. You're at your best when you're with each other and you bring laughter with you wherever you go. I love you guys both so much and I wish you nothing but the best in your marriage. Forgive each other unconditionally. Cherish your marriage. Continue to be each other's best friend. Never stop pursuing each other. Cheers to the new Mr. and Ms. Patterson. I know this is a love that's going to last forever. Toast to both of you. I love you both more than anything. Oh